the William Sloan Coffin Class of 56 Award for Peace and Justice to Reverend Dr. Michelle Guidry, Class of 2010. You are the Dean of Sisters Chapel at Spelman College in Atlanta. When you accepted that position last year, it was consistent with a vocation you've, you've pursued over the last decade. And I might add, I remember years ago when you said that you dreamed of that position. A focus on the faith, character, and empowerment of African American women. The world has taken notice. Ebony called you one of her generation's most powerful female faith leaders. Sojourners put you on their list of 10 women of faith leading the charge ahead. You are also a scholar and liturgist. You earned a doctorate in liturgical studies from Garrett Evangelical Theological Seminary in 2017. Before Spelman, you served as associate pastor to young adults at Trinity United Church of Christ in Chicago for six years. You're the author of a 2016 book, Curating a World, sermonic words from a young woman who preaches. And you created She Preaches, uplifting African-American millennial women in ministry by offering virtual community and professional development. You speak to urgencies of this era. At Spelman, you recently wrote, quote, I believe that any of us, any African-American black woman who has the privilege of sitting in an institution of higher education is there because some ancestor made the journey across the Atlantic. Some ancestor was hung. Some ancestor was lynched. Some ancestor couldn't vote. And far be it for us not to live and work in homage to them." End quote. 
stop. Um, <laughs> in the latest Reflections Journal, you write honestly about the need for discipline in daily spiritual practice and health. On many other fronts, you show a heart for ministry and for young people and their challenges. Honoring you, we are recognizing the high stakes of these difficult times when evidence of racism and abuse of women is rampant. We affirm your voice for the impact that you and others are having who champion causes that are so pressing in our time of political and spiritual struggle. The Coffin Award is given in honor of William Sloan Coffin, former chaplain to the university and one of the most significant religious leaders of the last century. The recipient of this award shares Coffin's prophetic witness, a courageous devotion to the dignity of all persons and who has made a notable contribution to the work of peace and reconciliation. We are excited this year to honor Michelle R. Guitry. remarks, and then I have something that's on my heart. Um, giving honor to God, who is the head of my life, my guide and my friend, my beginning and my end, and everything in between, to God be the glory for the things that God has done. And to my ancestors, to the ones that I knew and to the ones I will know in the hereafter. I give you thanks and I give you deference. And may my life and my work and every victory be an answer to your prayers and a fulfillment of your dreams. To my colleagues and my peers, my friends, my sisters, my brothers, many of whom are here tonight, my professors and administrators, and to the Yale Divinity School, I'm thankful for this acknowledgement, but I am even more thankful for the experience of Yale Divinity School. For it was here that I learned to live and to do ministry in the tension of absolute chaos and absolute beauty. Here I learned the death-dealing thing that is white supremacy, not just in concept, but as a living, breathing thing. And I also learned the redemptive and fulfilling power of black love. And as I accept this award for peace and justice, I acknowledge that it was here that I became a radicalized womanist. <laughs> At the feet of Dr. Emily Maureen Towns and Dr. Yolanda Smith, peace be upon her. And a politicized preacher at the feet of Dr. Nora Tubbs Tisdale, who was super significant because you were the first to tell me, go get a PhD in homiletics, you could do it. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> and it was here that I came to know Jesus, not just as the Lord and Savior of my soul, but as the liberator of broken lives and the breaker of chains of injustice. And if I could dedicate this award to anyone, it would be to my parents. My father, who drove me to New Haven for Admitted Students Day. And to my mother, who on the brink of graduation encouraged me over the phone not to be anxious for anything, but to get excited because God was about to do something awesome in my life. And they were there at the beginning and at the end, and every moment in between, and every moment since, just like God. So I give this honor to you and dedicate it to you. 
But I was sitting here tonight and I was thinking about this moment and this experience and a song was laid on my heart and I promise not to take up too much space. However, if you know it, you can sing it with me. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught.